<laughs> it's a nap breath. You know that this is recording, right? Is it really? Yeah. Well, good. We have some bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know how to start this, but Paul and I have decided to start a YouTube channel. We don't. It's not really going to be a vlog channel, there's probably not going to be a weekly video by any means, but um, we really just wanted to start documenting this. This is honestly something I have wanted to do for a really long time, and actually I'm going to shout out my best friend Sarah Olivia here because we're working on a project together as well, but she was like, so what if nobody else listens? If it's something that you want to do, do it. And so that's kind of where I'm at, and I really just want to do this for us to have to look back on um, our on our memories, on our travels, on just daily life stuff as well. Um, and also for our kids, I just feel like this, if I would have had a channel f to look back on my parents' life before they had my sister and I, I really feel like that would have been something just really, really cool. I have a couple little home videos of them, but to have like a little span of their life together before kids, I just would have cherished that so I think this will be cool for our kids to eventually look back on as well um, but like I said my name is Caitlin and I'll let my husband introduce himself hi I'm Paul Caitlin's, <laughs> Caitlin's husband as she has already introduced me yeah so we just kind of wanted to do a little Q&A to get to know us a little bit better I have a I have a feeling that most of our friends and family will be the ones watching this channel, but we just wanted to do a little Q&A. Some of these questions are pretty generic and some are a little bit more specific. So we'll go ahead and just dive into that and that way you can get to better know us and yeah. Okay, let me pull up the list of questions. Um, first one, I kind of already touched on what is the purpose of our channel and why we decided to do this, but I really want our channel to, to be um, like a showcase of our memories but also I really hope this encourages people to just step out and do what you want to do despite what others think or you know just fear of failure if it fails it fails if it does whatever you know either way we have this to look back on and I hope this encourages people I hope yeah, that this the, is over, the overall purpose is to have something if for nothing else for us to look back on to show our family uh, our future family um, who we are, what we did, mm -hmm. and where we are, and what we've come from, and all the memories in between. Yeah. So, it's nothing about Flash or anything like that, or no. by any means about having followers. It's just something for us to do as a little passion project to have fun and enjoy creating. Yeah, so exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, for the first question, we'll start with how did we meet? Do you want to pick up on that yeah. one? Yeah, well, sure, yeah, I'll take that one because that's one of my favorite <laughs> Um We met at a place in uh, Oklahoma. Uh, it's a wedding venue. It's called uh, Glass Chapel. Um, I was hired on as wait staff for the venue. Um, she had already been uh, hired on before, and we first met at an event. Um, no one in particular, just a random wedding. Mm -hmm. um, I was over by the coffee pot making some coffee <laughs> and she came in. She was at college at the time, so in Florida, so she would come back for the summers and work weddings to stay busy during the summer to have a little bit of extra spending cash. And we met at a wedding. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so to speak. And that was yeah. actually the summer right before I started college at Florida. Oh, was it? So I, I hadn't actually moved yet, but I was I only had that summer and then I was gonna be off to Florida. Oh, okay, so I didn't realize that. <laughs> I did it a year at a community college and then I went over there. But yeah, Paul and I um Paul and I met at this wedding venue, both working there, and then he actually proposed to me in the gazebo on the backgrounds out there yeah. and we got married, married there. At the chapel. So it's a very, very special place to us yeah. and we love the people there. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit of a background on how we met. Um who said I love you first? It was me. Yeah, it definitely it was, was me. you. It was me. You also went for the first kiss first as well. Yes. <laughs> I kind of let him take the lead on that. Not that I didn't want to or had the guts mm -hmm. to. I just felt like, you it know what? Was... And take it slow and I'm going to let him do. I'm going to let him take the lead. <laughs> it, it was my job. There you go. Yeah, it was what, it was <laughs> the unwritten rule of what was to go on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't change a thing. 
<laughs> oh, I told you I first loved you. It was out in front of uh, friends of ours. Um, I had roommates um, before we were married and that, and I was living with a buddy, and I walked her to her car. We had just went to a concert for Lainey, Paul Klein, mm -hmm. in uh, Broken Arrow, um, his hometown. Walked her to her car after a wonderful evening, and I just looked at her, and it just felt right, and I said, oh, I want to tell you something, and I don't mean this to be a big deal, but it's also not a light, a thing I take lightly. I told her, I said, I love you. And mm -hmm. I don't say I love you to certain things, like I don't love ice cream, I don't love duct tape or uh, <laughs> sour, sour gummy worms or anything like that. <laughs> Uh, I love people and uh, very rarely does an animal come along that I actually really enjoy and I love that animal as well but <laughs> love is for people uh, not for things and that so I I try not to say I love this or that it's always been I love people mm -hmm. and that's when I first told her I loved her yeah had a 50 50 chance at that time in the relationship for her to say it back and I was fully expecting oh that's nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just not ready for it. But no, she she fired off real quick right back. She goes, I love you too. I already knew. I yeah, knew she, after our first date that you were going to be the person that I would yep, marry. It was that first date. It said it all. Yep. But prior to that, I was just kind of like, eh, he's asking for a date, but eh. Yeah, <laughs> but I, was, I was trying I hard, which we can explain all that later. Yeah, at a later time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, favorite memory together. Do you need some time to think on that one? Because I do have uh, one. Well, if you, you go ahead, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just sit over here. Okay. Well, I'm going to put our proposal on our wedding as a given, but something else that I just... and I'm, I'm not trying to brag on myself here, but I surprised Paul with a trip to London, and that was just something so fun for me to be able to do for him. So London was his... I had asked him several times it's like honestly my favorite question to ask people is where is your dream place to go and I had asked Paul and he had said London and I was like you know what <laughs> it's like I'm just gonna start playing a trip this was pre-COVID and yeah right before actually. right before COVID actually and so he is his family he thinks that he's going out to a family dinner for his birthday in actuality, he was headed to the airport. And I'm like, how does this boy not know? I mean, the airport is like, there's nothing else around the airport but like avionics stuff. So I'm like, he still is not onto the train. Then he's like, as we're passing literally the fine airport parking sign, he's like, wait, we're not going to, we're like, oh, we're picking up somebody from the airport and we're trying to make yeah. it as like a surprise. I asked if we were picking someone up from the airport and you guys just said yes, like right away. <laughs> I go, oh, okay, cool. Who Me and my brother-in-law, Caleb, are sitting in the back seat just dying because he still has just zero clue. Yeah, I'm sitting in the front seat of the truck, yeah. <laughs> and anyway, so he, then he thinks that we're picking up somebody as we're going under departures, not arrivals, to pick somebody up, and he still thinks we're headed out. Well, we are... I, drew, I drew attention to that. Yeah. I said, I was like, oh, you, you missed it. You were going to <laughs> departures. But then we all find, he, we get up to the departure terminal. The Everybody right. gets out of the car. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law, my brother-in-law, and me. Caleb was still in the, the truck with me. Oh, was he? Yeah. I, I, but we're all waiting on Paul to step out of the vehicle. <laughs> I asked him, I said, do I need to get out of the vehicle? Because you just smiled at me and ducked out of the vehicle. And I'm like, what? And uh, I was like, yes, Caleb, babe, you yeah. need to get out of Caleb the car. Because yeah, we car. have a flight to catch. And he was like, what? Where are we going? Oh. I made him wear earphones real loud up until Dallas, right? Mm, I, you might have. I, yeah, you might have. You had and to then, listen in the song. Because then yeah. once we were on the plane is when he figured out where we were headed from Dallas to London. And so, yeah. Anyways, that's probably one of my favorite memories. What's one of your favorite memories? I you know. There's a lot. I have a lot of favorite memories with you. Or at least a lot of memories involving you. Um, my favorite memory is we had been talking for a while. Ugh, that talking. Um... <laughs> <laughs> kind of dating ish getting to know each other and I sprung it on you I was like do you want to go to well I had friends from Missouri I lived there for a long time 11 years 
and some really close friends that I'm still in a lot of contact with them. They had said a little last minute, hey, we are having a birthday party for one of them, and uh, it's this Sunday, no short notice. What are the chances that you think you could come? And I'm like, it's a three and a half hour drive. I was like, that's fine. I can make that. And so we, I picked, I asked her if she wanted to go and she did. And so I picked her up super early so we could drive all the way out there on Sunday morning so we could also go to church. Um, and uh, I picked her up at like four something in the morning. Her dad was up because that's his normal time to get up. <laughs> And he just greeted me at the door. Hey, how's it going? And uh, that was a terrible impression of my dad. It's it was accurate. It was spot on. <laughs> um, he that was him in the morning. Anyway, okay. Anyway, picked her up, drove there, had church. Uh, afterwards, the gentleman who we were surprising, he had no idea we were going to be there, and he had no idea that he was even having a birthday party but it was themed too it was what 90s 90s theme because yeah, he was born in 92 yeah i think so so he uh he was dressed all up in his 90s gear and stuff and they and then he found out that we were there and we're like hey yes we're like let's go to lunch so we met at his parents house where his parents have this incredible basement huge basement and they did it up with all kinds of 90s movie posters and stuff like that and everybody was just Shout waiting out to Zach. yeah yeah <laughs> We were, uh, well, actually, Rachel. She was the one, I think. Rachel, that's right, yeah. Yeah, and she handled it But all. Zach's uh, 1992. Yeah. <laughs> so he uh, he gets there, and he has no idea anybody else is there or whatever the deal is. Or I guess maybe he noticed all the cars or something. I can't remember. And he, as soon as he gets there, they had handed out silly string um, for everybody to, like, douse him with. And just like spray the bejesus out of him as soon as he like came out of the car and stuff. Now Caitlin has had no interaction with any of these people, any of my friends or anything. So it's like two worlds colliding at this point. Um, and this was one of those things where it's like, well, we get to see how she reacts with all my friends that I've known forever. And so she was thrusted uh, a can of silly string into her hands. <laughs> And as soon as that door happened, everybody bum rushes him. Like, I mean, he's on the ground, tackled and stuff. And I favorite memory is her just being the last one, like, going out there, like, and just o leaning over everybody and still sp stringing them and stuff. <laughs> and I just thought, I'm like, man, she's just one of the group. I was like, it just warmed my little heart to see... Uh, the woman that would become my wife just interacting with everybody as if she had never skipped a beat and had known him forever. I, I just, the run out there, I just picturing you running out there was like, <laughs> it, it tickles me. I'm always down for fun. But yeah. uh, also, props to you though, because you have great friends. <laughs> I do. I have really good friends. We have really good friends. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. Okay, next question. Let's see. That one took a lot longer than I expected. It was a beautiful story that needed to be told. <laughs> okay, this is one that we got quite a bit on Instagram. How many kids do we want and are we pregnant? No, we are not pregnant. Not at this time. And please don't ask again until until we announce it. Yeah. No, you It'll come when we're ready. ready. Oh. <laughs> um, how many kids do we want, though? This is... Three. He wants three. I lean a little bit more towards four, but Too that many. very well could change once we start having kids. So, awesome. so probably a minimum of three, and we'll go from there. We just, I just like three. It's just like the Schoolhouse Rock song. Three, it's a magic number. Well, you grew up with three. Yeah. I grew up with two, but I have two like people that are like my siblings, so technically. Yeah, but one. you didn't have to live with them. I didn't four, have to four live. Four people is a lot, in my opinion. Well, we'll Sorry see. to anybody who has <laughs> over over three siblings. We. We will see when the time comes. And yeah. who knows? Twins do run in on my side of the family. So That would be fun. Never know. We could get one pregnancy with two kiddos. Um, okay, this is from one of our friends on Instagram. What's your next planned travel destination? Funny that you ask because we're actually leaving on a trip a week from today. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited for this one. It is Tulum, Mexico. Um, that is... That's what I'm... One of definitely on my travel bucket list for a while. I have been to Mexico before, um, Playa del Carmen when I was very little. So I have not too many memories of there, just a memory of walking through the marketplace. So I'm very excited. 
Um, I always tell people, mi corazón, yo soy Latina. <laughs> so, but um, I love, I love Spanish culture. I love, I'm just excited for it. And I'm excited to take Paul. Yeah, and part of the the trip was, or part of what we wanted to do was this video before the trip, something to kick off this trip mm -hmm. in general. Uh, was we have a couple other there. fun trips lined up here in the next couple, well, a few months. Months. Um, yeah. That I just would, I would love to document for us and for our kids to show them and... Yeah, and we're not professionals. I'm just gonna be real honest. I do have a well, nice camera, you're and, not. <laughs> and we're working on this. And I do. I want it to be to a good level, but I'm not a professional, and we're we are not professional. So just yeah, disclaimer. Just, just me. <laughs> um. Okay, going off of the travel stuff, I have a couple other questions. Favorite place you've ever traveled to? Uh, well, I mean, I really enjoyed London. That was a bucket list one. We, that wasn't a long trip yeah. though, so I feel like that was a pretty short one. I'd go it was back. Short. Yeah, and I would do more. I totally would. Um, I would go in especially summer or spring. Big Ben was under such construction. Yeah, I did. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, me and my dad to Paris. Um, we went right before uh, Notre Dame got caught on fire, mm -hmm. and uh, everything. Same yeah, like with us. I, th I think it was like we went that. Like uh, spring, and then it caught on fire. So it was really nice to go there and see things before. I think it, you know it was still fine when we went too. We well, you went summer. right after me. Yeah, I went spring, and then you hit me in, in the, the summer, summer right yeah. after. Yeah. So right after that is when it, Notre Dame caught on fire. Um, you know, honestly, one of my favorite places to travel to, and this is by no means like a super big deal, is. Uh, the trips we would take to Iowa to see my grandparents. Um, there was just something about the Iowa farm and counting the windmills on our way there <laughs> and all the hawks. You could see them on the fence. You could literally just go hawk, hawk, two hawks, uh, dead hawk, uh, four <laughs> hawks, yeah, um, and just see them on the fence and stuff. There, so that, I, I enjoyed traveling there mostly because of the memories that went with it to mm -hmm. um the four wheelers and both my grandparents actually had four wheelers so mm -hmm. there was always four wheelers involved um nostalgic for you yeah and that's what i think makes that my favorite travel destination for sure yeah. mine i do have a favorite one i have a couple honorable mentions as well <laughs> Um, one of them is Paris. I had such a fun time in Paris and I just went, it was just a girl's trip. So my sister and my two best friends and I had went to Paris right after he had went to Paris with his dad. Um, this was before we were officially, no, we, we weren't, weren't even officially. talking. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what started our conversations though, I think together with our trips to Paris, but I had went and come back and then you were like, I'm planning to go there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Paris was obviously just a stunning city. Um, I love Walt Disney World. I'm <laughs> just going to leave it at that. I love Walt Disney World. Um, and then my my all-time favorite, though, is the island of Kauai in Hawaii. Um, I have been to that island twice, and I am just... Honestly, I told Paul there are very few destinations I have traveled to that I would actually want to live in, and that is one of them that I could see. I could see us raising a family there. Now, hmm, Kauai is not cheap, people, and it is a totally different life, so it would be a big coffee. move. Um, yes, they do have good coffee. <laughs> they have good pineapples, too, and shaved ice, and I just love the laid-back lifestyle of Kauai. But, okay, next question is, what is your current... Um, your dream destination, your current dream destination, like someplace you haven't been yet. Someplace I haven't been yet, uh, Ireland. Uh, just going there, looking at some fields, the shore side, all mm -hmm. of it, yeah. Ooh, going to Dublin, yeah, some other things like that. Yeah, I would love Ireland too. Um, Holstadt, Austria is actually mine. I'd prefer to go in the fall as well. Um, and then a couple other honorable mentions is Tokyo. I really have a desire to go to Tokyo and Singapore. Yeah, that would be a Singapore movie. because your girl's favorite movie is Crazy Rich Asians, and I just, yeah. Anyways, okay. Another one that we got asked on Instagram: Are we concert people? 
Yes and no. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I like music. I like listening to music. Do I go to very few concerts. I have friends that are very much concert people. Yeah. And I'd go with them anytime they would ask. But I... The, that's just a lot of crowd. It's a lot of standing, like, especially, like, I know it's not like such an old man. <laughs> they, generally when you go, everybody's like, oh, you know, and they're up and they're vibing and putting their hands yeah. up, you know, every once in a while they pull out the lighters or the phones or whatever. And then I'm just like, can we sit? I, I like to listen and sit, you know, li I can watch from here. We have seats. Why did we pay for man. seats? Yeah. <laughs> I paid for standing room, I guess, even <laughs> though I have a seat. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I... The concerts I have been to, I have really enjoyed, but I don't go out of my way to look for like concerts. But we do, we are going to another Laney one actually coming up here soon. I am very excited about that one. And I actually, <sighs> that same weekend, I have two other concerts I am going to with my, my two best friends in, down in the Waco area for the celebration. So Ben Rexter and Johnny Swim. So I do enjoy concerts and I love music. There are very few times where I don't have music playing in my car. <laughs> That'll be the busiest concert week. That's a fluke. We 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 really. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be music, music, music that weekend. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Would we ever consider pets in the future? Yes. Yes. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> we'll consider. We're waiting, and it. I will say, I don't think we'd be able. We don't travel a ton, ton, but it would make traveling way harder to do finding that extra stuff. And we currently live in an apartment and I just don't want to have yeah. a pet in an apartment. A, your bill goes up and B, I just don't feel like it gives them enough space to Poor, do their thing. Yeah, so, thing has to stay inside all day while we're at work. I want to have a yard so our pets, and specifically dogs. I am talking about specifically dogs. I am a dog person. I like cats too. I just prefer dogs. What did we first find about? That was one we got on Instagram as well. And <laughs> Okay, I remember it was Thanksgiving of our first, like we had just gotten back from our honeymoon and it rolled right into Thanksgiving. I do not remember the subject. Obviously, mm -hmm. it wasn't that important. I, uh, if I had to guess, sometimes you, uh, you shut down and you're like, I need to process what's going on so I don't just throw words out. And I'm like, can you please just throw something out at me? Because <laughs> you're just being quiet and it... And I'm like, I, you're talking to a wall and I think you're mad. And it's like, well, maybe you're not mad, but you're not I talking. I feel like that's difference in personality though, yeah. too. So you were, that was what was going on as we're driving home from friends from Thanksgiving. And I just remember like having that whole conversation in the car of like, I need you to talk to me and stuff like that. It's just, you know, great stuff for the beginning of our marriage, <laughs> first month of marriage. So... First married yeah. Thanksgiving. <laughs> it was like two, 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 three weeks, I guess. And huh, that was fun. Yeah. yeah so I, obviously, we don't even remember don't what even it was remember about. what it was Clearly, about. It's probably some family. You forgive and you forget. Turkey drama. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah honestly, sure. it was just something that I obviously wasn't yeah. that important, but yeah. we, we do fight. We definitely have those moments, just like every married couple. Um, but yeah. What is your what was your dream job as a kid? That was when we got on Instagram as well. Dream job as a kid. I know mine. I always wanted to be an inventor, but I think it still okay. is and always will be uh, like a freelance artist or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you didn't know, Paul is great at art, and he will do commissions if you ask him. Um, maybe. Maybe depending <laughs> on the subject, but yeah, he does have an art page on Instagram. What's your handle? Yeah, I. Uh, well, just to put it out there, since you, shame, <laughs> shameless plug, shameless plug, I guess. Um, I I don't like doing portraits. I, that is one of my least favorite things to do. I've done many, and I'll do them for special people. I'm sorry if you're not that special person, <laughs> but they, okay. I, uh, I I cannot stand doing them. I've done so many, and it gets boring after a while. I want to do so much you more. Want, like, it's more like pop culture kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I like fan art. I like other stuff. I like, you know, you know, I look at someone and I'm like, cool, you're fun. I draw them and I'm like, they're a human being. But maybe I want to put a gun in their hand with a laser blast and shark eating them or something. Oh, what did I want to be? I totally skipped over that. Yeah. Um, when I was really little, I wanted to be a farmer because I, I, I still love animals, but... This girl bleeds green, let me tell you. <laughs> No. <laughs> but my mom kind of persuaded me. She's like, why are you looking to like veterinarian school? So when I got a little older, I was kind of more into being a vet. 
but I don't do well with medical stuff. I pass out with blood a lot. Quite easy, yes. Absolutely. So um, that was not my field. Nope, nope, nope. Fucker. <laughs> when I was when I was really little. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was trying to persuade me not to be a farmer though because she's like there's like no money and there can well, be like vineyards oh yeah but like my mom was like there's not really much money in farming so she's like how about veterinarian yeah, you you could marry a farmer <laughs> pre-existing <laughs> family third generation <laughs> what is your all-time favorite movie i kind of already said mine but I'll let you say yours oh you said crazy rich Asians. Mm -hmm. so that i guess this one favorite. does fall to me i'm a very well very I, I enjoy movies a lot. I like going to the theater. My favorite movie is Empire Strikes Back. It is my favorite Star Wars movie. It's, it has my favorite cover art too. And uh, we will raise our kids accordingly. We are a Star Wars family. <laughs> this is the way. Um, You're I mean, definitely more Star Wars than me. I like oh, Star yeah, Wars. I just sure. don't keep up with it. Like, yeah, you know. everybody's Star Wars to a point, but then there's the Star Wars people, which we are. Mm -hmm. Which, in the background, that's the Star Wars calendar. I don't calendar. know if you can see yeah, yeah. The, the Empire Strikes Back specifically calendar. It's yeah, the 40th anniversary. Yeah. How long have we been married? Um, going, almost two years. Going on two years here pretty soon. It'll be two years on November 3rd. What's been the best surprise anyone has done for you? I mean, Lond like I know we keep going back to some of these and a lot of these stack on top of each other. London was a really good one. I think going to OKC for my 22nd birthday. Oh yeah, and that you was took me fun. on a whole huge road trip. Yeah. yeah to that huge road trip. Um, <laughs> a road trip. Hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was fun. It was a surprise little road trip for his birthday mm -hmm. before we were married. Um, one of mine was my <laughs> my bridesmaids before we got married handed me a note and it said, pack your bags. And I was like, what? They're like, yeah, like be prepared to fly out tomorrow morning. And I was like, where are we going? Oh, yes. And so we went to the Blue Ridge Mountain area in North Carolina and stayed at these this epic like mountain house cabin kind of thing mm -hmm. and it was I was a little jealous it was very, very it cool. was very cool we did the blue ridge mountain trail a little bit and i also they didn't tell me so oh can my, i tell this about so no oh i was gonna say when they asked you when when you were going you were at the airport and <laughs> while she was at the airport she had ear, <laughs> earphones in <laughs> And she somewhere. was reading, and she had a bookmark, and it had calligraphy on it. And uh, I can't remember who looked turned to you. It was Julie. It was it Julie? Julie turns to you and looks at your bookmark or whatever, and she's got her earphones. And she they goes, made me put my earphones in yeah. really loud because so they didn't want here. to know where I was going. Yeah. So she yells really loudly at Julie. She goes calligraphy. <laughs> I didn't and, know I was talking that loud. And Julie just starts laughing, <laughs> and I go, "That sounds." I do have that video exactly like somewhere. Caitlin. Yeah, um, but no, another surprise I got on the trip. So a lot of my friends are kind of all over the country. Mm -hmm. um, obviously my sister and then Hope had already... Hope was there, right? Was she still here at that point? No. Yeah. No, she, yeah. But oh yeah, Hope was in North Carolina because her family lives over in, mm -hmm. in well, Wasn't that the, the connection Carolinas. to the place? Yeah, yeah. Hope's aunt's place. Um, anyways, so I knew Hope was going to be there because they had eventually... Hope was the one that picked us up at the airport. Anyway, so we get there, and it's my sister, Hope, um, my other friend, Monica, and then I had one of my bridesmaids was from Indiana, and one was from, Nor uh, from I almost said Norwick. I got literally mixed New York and Warwick together <laughs> from New York, and I didn't think they were going to be able to come, which is understandable. Like, you have work, you have jobs, and, you know, it's a lot of money to just fly out to a place. So then after I got there, I'm already surprised by this trip. Then they tell me like, oh yeah, they're not gonna be able to make it. And then all of a sudden I hear these people coming in and I'm like, you are kidding me. So Maddie and Sarah Olivia were able to come. So I had like two surprises wrapped up in the whole trip. That was such a fun trip. So I I'm enjoyed that. That was one of my, was. that was one of my, my favorite surprise. If you surprise me with a trip, you're pretty much guaranteed to be on my list of favorite surprises, <laughs> especially a trip with your best friends. If you were offered to become a superhero, what power would you choose? I know mine. A 
superpower? Yeah. Flight's easy, but teleportation's even better. So teleportation is good. But I just teleport to fly. everywhere. No, for, forget that. We're going up in the clouds. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> You're gonna get all the weather conditions, all that stuff. Your hair. But like, if I'm a superhero, I'd have a super suit, and I would just. Your super suit covers your hair. You would have to do your mm -hmm. hair. Listen, if I teleport, I just hold your hand. I go, <laughs> boom, we there. But part of it's the journey and getting there. Mm, not when you're there. Okay. <laughs> okay, I put this in one in here specifically for Paul. <laughs> Can you impersonate someone famous? No, I, I, I can't say that at all. Please do Kronk. <laughs> Kronk's not even my favorite. Movie. Like that's not someone famous. But it's a Disney character. Yeah, but it's a Disney character. Um, would like Kronk? Kronk's. Uh, Are you getting nervous? <laughs> Little bit. Camera <laughs> shy. Um, okay, what's something that Kronk says? He's like, no, oh, it's your birthday. <laughs> As he's mixing the blood. Goes, oh, yeah, you couldn't even let it go on your birthday. <gasps> the villager. You forgot to pay his check. <laughs> or, I, 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 well, I do, I like Disney characters, so, like, Stitch is always a fun one. It's like, oh, oh, when, like, it was it Nani hits him with the sticker where she's like, talk. I know you can. And he's like, oh, oh, orca, orca. And she's just like bewildered that he actually could talk and then smacks him again. And he's like, oh, Orhana means family. Family means nobody that's left behind. Or <laughs> coconut cake and coffee. So Stitch, Stitch is fun. I talk, I, I, when she's not here, I usually do Stitch in the kitchen. Great. Yeah. That was actually the last question, so oh, we finally hit the end of this. Beep, 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 beep. But That's all, folks. Like I said, we're not having like a video schedule or anything yet. We obviously are not YouTubers, so this is not a full time job. This is something kind of and kind of a creative outlet for both him and I on the side too that we wanted to do as a little bit of a hobby. So um yeah, we hope to be somewhat consistent on here, but no promises on when the next video is coming. But we will be filming in Tulum, so we'll probably try to make a video out of that. And yeah, we don't even have a, a uh, like peace out kind of ending thing, so we'll work on that too. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we're excited to see where this goes and just the memories that we get to make alongside of this. Um, so thanks for watching from Caitlin and Paul. Bye. Bye.